my book is talking about the color of skin that you look at every day and it's telling you you're enough and you're perfect and you're powerful My name is Aida Kemunto. I'm a graduate student at USIU, taking my master's in information systems and technology. I'd like to think of myself as a writer by profession. My first story, I wrote my first story, which was a poem on my mom's typewriter at work. She used to be a secretary, so I'd visit her and just type things on the typewriter. That was my first story, which was a poem. I've been writing since then. I, I usually write um, fictional stories, mostly romance and science fiction, anything that can be created and conjured up is something that I write. So I've been writing more romance the past few years. My first story was a science fiction, which was called Camp Massacre. I wrote it for my classmates. I used to write in exercise books and read book and read through the, like, form one to form four, I think. Yeah. The second story that I published was called Him which was the first story based in Nairobi that I wrote. And then, since of my father came along. Sins of my father is a story about a young woman who's struggling to survive in a world where her dad is trying to control her life. She's the daughter of the attorney general. She's engaged to one of the richest businessmen in the world but she wants something different in her life. She's been passionate about music growing up, but that's the last thing her father wants her to be. He, he always thought her to be the first female president in a country that is so rooted in patriarchy. And he, he always groomed her to be the change that needed to be, so that their names can be spoken generations to come. So since my father was away for me to write about things that I'm interested in mental health um, pressures that parents put in on their kids that's what I wanted to talk about and that's what I've talked about in like a um, surface level fiction type of way the, the big, biggest essence of it in my book is what it means for a young woman to decide who they are and choose a path for themselves d despite what your parents tell you and how liberating it is for you to find yourself um, one of my greatest quotes is by Wasan Shire, who says, I belong deeply to myself. And that's the essence of, of Sins of My Father, when she finds who she is at a person, as a person, at the core of who she is, and she picks that person despite what anyone else would say or what would happen, what the consequences are, then she finds herself. And it's that journey that you, you see through my fiction. My inspiration to write um, is the need to talk about things that I'm passionate about. So anything that I see and it bothers me, I find a perspective that I can write that people can relate to. So I write because I have to, I think. It sounds cliche, but I have to write, I have to, it's just my thing. If, if I don't write it down, it bothers me. So I write because I have to write. My greatest moment in the writing journey was when I got published by Writers Guild. Um, I'd been writing for a while and I didn't think like I would ever get to the point where someone would be like an, a publishing house would be interested in my books because I think maybe part of me didn't think I was good enough. So when I got published by Writers Guild, I got the validation I needed as a writer, which sounds sad, but it happens. So Writers Guild was just a push to be like you can do this. Like if someone, a publishing house is willing to put their name behind your story, then you're good enough to write anything that you want to write. My advice to someone considering self-publishing would be to do it, first of all, that's the first step. If you want to self-publish and it's the path that you've chosen, you're most comfortable with, you should do it. But don't skip the steps that you would skip, that you would go through if you were going, if you are being published by a publishing house. So 
if you have to get the editors get the best editors that you have if you have to get a cover designer get the best cover designer that you have it doesn't matter how much it costs you like if your quality is good then your people would want to read what you put out there another thing i would give that i learned from publishing since of my father would be get a better th- a better team a better team is a team of maybe like five or ten people that treat the first draft that you write and they give you honest feedback in terms of how your story is and how the market would relate to your story. So me, I already had that with Wattpad. Since my father was published, the first few chapters were published on Wattpad and I already have a, had a following who like religiously read my stories. So they always gave me feedback in terms of what I was doing right and what I was doing wrong. One of the books that has impacted me deeply has been Giovanni's Room by James Baldwin. Uh, it tackles issues with sexuality and fears and the society that we live in at the moment and politics. And I related to the story because of the struggles we go through as human beings in terms of trying to find ourselves. So Giovanni's Room made me cry by the time I was done and I'd never felt that way after I'd read a book. My favorite book is Lolita by Vladimir Nabokov, but Giovanni's Room just, I'd, I'd never felt the same after I read that book. You should read it. Three books that I would recommend would be, the first one is uh, Americana by Chimamanda. She's my role model, so I have to recommend a Chimamanda book. Um, the second one is You by Caroline Kepnis. I don't know. Most people have heard of the show, but I read the book before I saw the show. So the book is amazing. The way she tackles issues about who you are as a person, and it's, it's amazing. You should read you. And the third one is um, Lolita, my favorite book by Vladimir. If I was to give an advice to my audience, would be if you have a passion that you're interested in and you don't know how to go about it or you're scared or or someone is discouraging you from following um, a passion that you're interested in my advice would be to go for it because i was scared i didn't fun fact is i didn't invite my dad to my book launch because i didn't think he'd understand and i think my biggest fan at the moment is my father i didn't know he had a passion for literature i didn't know he'd be so proud of me that he's opened facebook groups he's sold so many copies to his friends because it's something that he's so proud of but because i was scared i would have not been published because i didn't want my dad to be disappointed in me i would say go for it